Hey guys, still here and welcome back to ICBM. Today it's time to try out some more of the Naval Super Mod. And I tried looking for a multiplayer game, but there was just nobody on. So it's going to be me against the AI. In order to make sure that the AI works with this mod, I have installed the Diverse AI for Tarsus Super Naval Mod. And this is going to allow the AI to use various assets. Um, this is going to make it more interesting, especially, of course, on the naval front, where a lot of these new changes have been implemented. Now, um, one thing I wanted to mention, by the way, is that Tarsus, the guy who's creating all the mods, currently has a Patreon page up, and um, he could really use your support. He's one of the best developers for the mods, for currently for ICBM. So I have linked him down below in the comment section, where you can find the link to his Patreon page. So if you have a few bucks to spare and you want to help this guy out, create even more mods for ICBM, link to his Patreon down in the comment section. All right, let's start a new game. And let's see. Um, I think the Pacific is a pretty interesting area to start because I can hit out to East Asia. I can hit to West Asia. I can somewhat somewhat hit Russia, but it's not, e not easy, not ideal. And of course, I have access to South and North America. Whereas I'm not too much at risk from being immediately struck by any of these larger continents. All right, um, difficulty to normal because I'm not too familiar with the entirety of the mod yet. As for the points, um, my focus today is going to be on naval assets. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I get some of those new naval assets in. For this, I want an aircraft carrier. They immediately start with the uh, interceptor technology, and the interceptors are really nice and fast planes that allow you to take down enemy aircraft from, well, not so much beyond visual range, but they can if you have AWACS. So, to maximize the carrier potency, I'm going to look into researching uh, more technology for my carrier, for my aircraft, for my, uh, I want AWACS, of course. Oh, there's just so much to unpack in this mod that it's going to take quite a bit of stuff to research. Something else that would be handy is a couple of co uh, coastal mobile missile batteries so that any other warships from the AI immediately get sunk. They will need backup from a radar site. And that's going to be an improved long wave radar. Uh, do I still have enough points? No. Okay, in that case I'm going to go with one radar site fewer and get cruise missiles. And that's going to boost the cruise missile. Uh, oh shit, I need the ASHM, right? Yeah. Uh, sacrifice one destroyer. Sacrifice a few more radar sites and get the maneuvering missiles. This is going to make the maneuvering missile or the anti-ship missile even more deadly when faced with um, any kind of ship. And those missiles are carried by the mo uh, coastal mobile missile batteries. Gives me just 13 points. Not that much, but I'm going to uh, fill that up with a bit of the um, the seven, sorry, the one megaton bombs and the 750 kilotons uh, TN bomb, which is a bomb that is designed for aircraft carriers. So it's going to be perfect for my intended use. And then I'll have one standard nuclear bomb just because I need to fill out the points here. All right, let's get started. Okay, where do we start? Where do I set up my first assets? I only have one radar site, which is pretty limited. So I'm going to have to pick this one wisely. There's a high likelihood that the East Asian fleet is immediately going to spawn somewhere along their coastal waters. Uh, they could spawn here, which would work for me pretty well, because then they could fight each other without me getting involved. Ideally, I want to neutralize East Asia. That's my closest competitor, and I'd say uh, a place where a lot of points are to be had, considering Beijing, uh, Seoul, Tokyo, all of these are very large uh, cities and can be taken out, well, relatively easily. So a radar site, um, <clears throat> next to Manila, I suppose. And then a co coastal mobile missile battery here. Just south of the radar site. And look at the range in that thing. That is a pretty substantial range. Okay, let's make sure radar coverage is on. For research, uh, let's have SAM technology so that the destroyers get access to surface-to-air missiles. And for production, 
I want another SAM site, and um, I want to start working on a cruiser. The other coastal mobile missile battery. I'm not going to deploy it yet. I'm not going to hold it in reserve. As for the aircraft carrier and escorting destroyers, I'm going to park those in my uh, coastal waters for now. Because I don't exactly know where the AI spawns their ships. And if I find that I spawn right on top of a cruiser, well, <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of a problem. Okay, let's speed the game up. Let's get that radar site operational and then deploy the coastal mobile missile battery. Yep, switch to nuclear war mode over there. Back it up with a coastal battery. Once the cruiser is done... Um, I usually don't find that South America is a threat, so I don't really feel that I need to look into too much of an airbase over here. I mean, it'll help. It'll definitely help, but maybe a naval airbase. Because this one also comes equipped with the uh, interceptors and, of course, more importantly... The anti-submarine warfare aircraft. So that's going to be the next order of business. Now, in case you haven't seen the naval uh, super mod yet, or the super naval mod, I have done a video on various different weapons and uh, classes of sh units that you can find in this mod. So if you haven't found it yet, or if you haven't uh, seen that video yet, you can find it linked down below in the description. This is curious. I've allowed air patrol, but I'm not seeing any. Duh, you had it on pause. Jesus, I'm sorry. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. Now, as for alliances, I am not interested in any alliances today. And if I'm not using an alliance, then the AI doesn't form any alliances either. So that is much to my uh, advantage. As for starting with nuclear war, um, I might just do that. I might just do that. The attack aircraft from my aircraft carrier now have access to that uh, B-61 750 kiloton TN bomb, thermonuclear bomb if I'm not mistaken. And that is not particularly deadly against cities I believe. Uh, although it will allow me to score 91 points in Tokyo, 78 in Shanghai, a, a bit of Beijing. Ideally I'd have a bit more firepower though. Okay, the cruiser is ready. I want you to join the rest of the fleet as well. Join that aircraft carrier, because now I can start hunting. The destroyers have various loadouts at the moment. They have access to the multi-mission, which allows it to have a torpedo and a surface-to-surface -surface missile. Or a ship-to-ship -ship missile. And the alternative is the anti-sub-slash-ship class. This comes with a torpedo which has more range and the anti-ship missile. Currently, I have more to fear from other shipping than from enemy aircraft. Um, or sorry, from enemy submarines. At least such is my expectation. So I'm going to have one of my destroyers on anti-sub uh, duty. And the other one is going to be on the standard multi-mission loadout. what I'm really looking for... Oh, hold on. Just as I say that I don't have that much to fear. Thank you. Uh, that one immediately took out the submarine. And that was the anti-sub loadout. So it dropped, I believe, four torpedoes as opposed to just the standard two that the, uh, the destroyer normally does. The aircraft carrier did take a bit of damage, though. So let's have that thing turn around and get back into an area where it can get repaired. West Asia updated information units in reserve. Okay, what are you guys doing? I don't really care about spying on South America yet. Nor North America, nor Europe. I want to know what Africa and West Asia are doing. And East Asia, these three. And by doing this, I'm getting more information about what their plans are. I know that these guys uh, have a submarine in reserve and three radar sites. That is interesting. Why would they have three radar sites in reserve? Okay, all the other ships are perfectly healthy. It's just the aircraft carrier that took a hit. Let's get that thing healed up. And then continue our patrol through East Asia. There we go. On the move. 
Samtac is almost up. Next next uh, mission is going to be AWACS, because it'll dramatically increase the range that my aircraft carrier can spot things Research at. Research complete. Okay, now we have Sams. Sams come with the destroyer multi-mission loadout as well as the other load. No, not the other loadout. Anti-sub, anti-ship missiles, they don't have them. So effectively, I only have one anti-air uh, destroyer, if you want to call it that. And of course, the cruiser also gets them. And on top of that, I have my aircraft carrier with all of its fighters and its few interceptors. I really like the way that you can have the destroyers with two different loadouts. I really like that. Okay, the naval airbase is almost complete. I might just go with a couple destroyers now to get a bit of an, uh, well, either an escorting group or to see if I can pester somebody out here. I don't really feel the necessity to have a large airbase at the moment. All right, the naval airbase, we're going to set up next to Port Moresby because it also boosts my sonar ranger a bit. And then have the anti-submarine aircraft just go out on patrol. Although, and this is what I still don't quite like about the anti-submarine warfare aircraft, it works like an AWACS and it starts to circle. And because it does that, it is less effective because you have to micromanage it more. And that means more of a headache for you, and this game usually already gives you plenty to worry about. Enemy submarine destroyed. Well done, guys. It looks like this time around we outsmarted the sub, and the sub was not capable of doing any kind of damage to my ships. Get me one aircraft and uh, send it inland. It doesn't have a great radar though, only 250, but it's better than nothing. And advanced aircraft are also going to make the aircraft carrier more effective. Enemy destroyer of East Asia detected. Where? There. Coastal mobile missile battery standing by. Come here, buddy. Come here. There we go. Missiles away. This destroyer does not have anti-missile defense yet, so <laughs> holy shit. Look at how quickly that thing gets sunk. Boom. It did have SAM tech. So I gotta be a bit careful with my aircraft carrier. Because any other ships uh, that I can find might carry it. And on top of that, there is the potential, the severe potential, that some of the SAM batteries have been deployed more inland. Where I currently cannot see them yet. That's a very real threat. Okay, two destroyers are ready. We have hit and destroyed an enemy SAM site. Yeah, see? They were destroying, or they were ready to deploy those. Alright, as for destroyers. Um, what am I going to do with these boys? Maybe just set them up on patrol. What I want these to do is work with... Uh, oh, you can also make them a, sh a sheer air defense destroyer. Yeah, that's right, Tarsus mentioned that. You can also make them a sheer air destroyer or anti-air destroyer, which means that they throw out SAMs faster than the other variants do, but they have absolutely no other loadouts. No other weapon systems. For my current purpose, I'm gonna go with anti-sub slash ship, because we're hunting submarines. Especially boomers. I really don't like having boomers uh, move around my shorelines unescorted. So one patrol line from there to there, one patrol line from there to there. And the next destroyer that I'm going to deploy starts about here next to Brisbane. And patrols from here to there. I might have another one. And of course it is not a watertight picket line, uh, aside from being on the ocean. Because there is just too much terrain to cover. There is just way too much that I cannot possibly keep an eye on. Uh, also show me... Sonar range? We're destroying something again. Wait, enemy missile detected? We're getting hit by a submarine, aren't we? That is unacceptable. 
you load out anti sub anti ship from here to there. That's gonna keep you busy. That was another SAM site that got destroyed. Hello, submarine. Nasty piece of work you are. Let's quickly switch loadouts. That should immediately put that submarine down. Yeah, she's down. Alright, back to uh, anti... No, multi-mission I think I had it on. And yes, you can switch these things on the fly. Um, there is, of course, the potential that somebody deploys a huge destroyer fleet and has everything set to the same type. Sees a threat and immediately swaps everything over to a different threat kind. Uh, that is optional. I mean, it works. But it requires quite a bit of micro. And that's sort of keeping the whole thing honest. Now the destroyer's ready. This one I want to have patrolling the left side. Let's go from here to there. And this one I'm going to keep on multi-mission. The next is an aircraft carrier and then a cruiser and a destroyer so that I can have another aircraft carrier operating here. While these things just patrol back and forth here. Another SAM side gets blown up. Damn it. There is once again an enemy submarine about. It seems to be throwing missiles out to an, a point where it thought I am. Oh, there's more than one sub. These are Russian submarines. That's one down. And come on, that's two down. Well done. This destroyer... Oh, didn't survive. Okay, I'm going to need another destroyer to pick up the slack here. You're going to be swapped to anti-sub. And cruisers don't have a specific loadout. All right. First bit of skirmishing has been done. Oh, crap. That's something a bit heavier than I was expo uh, expecting here. Oh, no. The anti-ship missiles might sink the destroyer, but you can bet your ass that that aircraft carrier is going to cause all sorts of trouble for my destroyer. Uh, swap it to... No. Swap it to nothing. I need to intercept that group. Sending these guys out with kiloton bombs against an aircraft carrier might be a bit too much. I don't have an AWACS yet, so it's not like I can keep an eye on these things anytime soon. Advanced aircraft complete. Uh, I want this destroyer now set to long range. Yeah, anti sub, anti ship. The range on the anti ship missiles is 1089. Versus the range on the cruisers, which is 1,100. But the speed of these missiles is slower. 800 versus 1,000. And the next bit's going to be aerial refueling and then AWACS. New aircraft carriers ready. Let's just keep it over here for now. And have the destroyer cancel its patrol order and join that aircraft carrier. Next up is cruiser and then a destroyer to make sure that all the assets that I need can be added to this aircraft carrier group here. Well, starting air... Oh, hello, you guys moved up. Starting aircraft carrier group, that is. One thing I don't have a lot of is uh, surface to air missiles. The cruisers have it. The destroyers don't have it because they're set to anti ship missiles. Um, and the carrier does have fighters and interceptors. I just need to see where that aircraft carrier went. Not there. There's going to be a battle between two carrier battle groups. There we go. Found it. It looks like I did manage to sink the destroyer. And it looks like that aircraft carrier is going to take a big beating here. 
I might lose a few aircraft in the process, though. Interceptors from this airbase over here are also assisting. There she goes. Aircraft carrier destroyed. A couple of lonely attack bombers. Survivors, but not for long. Okay. That's that aircraft carrier group taken care of. I can now resume my patrol duties here. And I need to figure out... No, I need to bring over two more fighters. Which I can just bring over from here. Uh, oh, crap. Those are the attack bombers. Sorry. Wrong aircraft. Fighter. Rebase. Fighter. Rebase. I want to have a full complement of aircraft here. Did I tell it to rebase or not? Yeah, it did. 5 plus 2, 2 on air patrol. And you didn't quite get the order. I think you need to right click it, otherwise it doesn't work. You. What? Oh, one crashed because it ran out of fuel. There is something else happening here. Enemy destroyer destroyed. I'm not sure where, though. Let's have the cruiser join this group. And let's patrol a bit more here. Uh, here, there, and back again. Hold on. Oh! Hold up. Uh... The aircraft carrier needs to be the main group, and the, the cruiser needs to follow the aircraft carrier. There we go. In case you don't know how to patrol, right-click once, right-click on a second, and then left-click on your original, and that sets a patrol route. We're allowed to go on air patrol, and once aerial refueling is going to be complete, then we'll have AWACS coming up right after. A new destroyer is coming off the assembly line slash off the dry dock soon. Um... I want if I think I only need two fighters in reserve because this naval air base has two fighters in patrol. It has two fighters grounded. Yeah, that should be enough. I will, however, need another destroyer to be built because I lost one. And let's go for a cruiser as well for good measure. There's my destroyer. Uh, this group had... Yeah, one of each. Hold up. Russian destroyer has been spotted. Not good. Uh, you're from here to there and back. Alright, there's the destroyer. The anti-ship missile is already flying out to meet the destroyer and doing a lot of damage. While the missiles that are coming from the destroyer, the Russian destroyer, are not doing any damage to mine. For some reason. There we go. Now they are. And the cruiser is also pitching in. And should make short work of that destroyer. There we go. Alright, a bit of damage has been taken by the DD. I'm going to pull the DD away from the carrier, get it repaired, and then have it rejoin the aircraft carrier group. These two I want to have rebased here. Aircraft carrier is full. Check. No, it's not quite full. It needs one more jet. One more fighter. So I'll have to build one more fighter. Uh, that's an attack bomber. That's a fighter. Alright, another destroyer is ready to go. Um, how about having a destroyer just patrol here? And to provoke an air response, I'll use it as an air defense destroyer. The plan is to just piss off the West Asian group and see if they want to strike back at my destroyer using a couple of aircraft. Which the destroyer then will hopefully pretty quickly take down. Let's speed things along a bit. After the AWACS research is done, I'm going to go for uh, improved powerful engines because that allows me access to the heavy battle cruiser. And, in the meanwhile, speeds up all of my ships. Uh, 
I might also look into building an air base because they have the large AWACS aircraft as opposed to the relatively small AWACS helicopters. Research complete. Yep, cruiser's ready. Um, that cruiser is also going to be patrolling around here. It's going to be patrolling from here to here. Large patrol area. Reason being, I want to make sure that the destroyers get a bit of support in case they find another aircraft carrier group somewhere out here in the Pacific. This fighter can go here. That should do it. AWACS aircraft are ready, which means I can now have my... Oh, they changed the icon. I can now have my carrier airborne early warning and control. And hello, Sam site. We might need to go a bit closer to the shore here. Because without it, I won't be able to spot anything. Or, well, I will be able to spot it, but I won't be able to shoot it. I really like this upgraded thing. Really nice. And I can do the same thing here. There we go. Unfortunately, no patrol route for an airborne early warning. Another SAM site's been spotted. Hold on, don't. No, 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 no. That's not a good idea. There's a SAM site nearby. I'm going to get your ass handed to you. And especially interceptors is aircraft that I don't have a lot of. Uh, yeah, cruiser, this is going to be your target. few more of them here. I'll probably have to annoy those by sending in a cruiser. Don't get too close to that SAM site now, okay? Once that is done, I'm going to go for hypersonic missiles. Getting anti-ship missiles and upgrade to range. Uh, the Slammy R, the air-launched ballistic missiles, and the surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Hello, boys. The Russians are out and about again. But this time, I have found them way ahead. Yeah, I can switch to the ASM loadout, but it doesn't only... Yeah, it only gives me a couple of air-to-air -air missiles. Because I don't have air-to-surface missiles yet. Pull back a bit. I'd hate to lose my AWACS this early. Or my sentry, if you want to talk officially. shit from anybody. It might take a few hits here and there, but it won't be that bad. Maybe you should finish off one destroyer before trying to eat another. Research complete. Thank you. Okay, now I have access to the battle cruiser. Heavy battle cruiser is a class of nuclear-powered guided missile cruisers, the largest and heaviest surface combatant warships in operation in the world. These things carry a lot of firepower. It looks like the aircraft carrier group got a bit damaged. At least the cruiser did. And I had a destroyer that I pulled back, didn't I? Did I lose that one? I probably lost it. Okay. Still, the aircraft carrier itself is a pretty big menace. So ideally, I would keep that pretty close there. I want you to go all the way over there. And I'll get you another aircraft. This is really one of the big perks of the naval airbase. Just the way that you can resupply an aircraft carrier that's out on a mission. It doesn't have infinite range. But for example, for an interceptor, I can fly it out all the way to there. Because it only needs to go one way. All right, we now have an airbase. And that means I have access to a bigger AWACS. Where are we going to annoy the West... Sorry, the East Asian guys? Uh, let's keep an AWACS circling over there. The AWACS long wave radar range is 1750. And this one is 1550. So it's not that much worse. Radar surface missiles coming up. 
once those things are researched, it's going to be far more impressive to have the aircraft carrier wing do, against, do damage against other ships. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to send the heavy battlecruiser yet. These are very potent warships that can do very well against pretty much any target. I might have it patrol with the aircraft carrier group here and just do damage against any kind of SAM site that I might encounter. What are we looking at? Enemy destroyer of East Asia, not found at his last known location. It doesn't really tell me where that destroyer was supposed to be, huh? Uh, I want you to start pissing off the guys over here a little. Not sure if you have enough damaging power to get... Oh, yeah, you do. To get rid of the SAM site. There we go. Let's just give it multi-mission loadout for now. So that it can engage anything. Just not with the maximum efficiency. Air to surface missiles researched. Now the ASM loadout on the aircraft, the uh, attack bombers, makes sense. Because now I carry four air to surface missiles. Uh, is my cruiser ready? Yep, it's healed up. You can rejoin the aircraft carrier group. Over here. Do we not have enough missiles for something? Enemy submarine destroyed. Well done. Not even sure where you did that, but I have some suspicions. Alright, the heavy battle cruiser comes with the anti-ship missiles and the torpedoes. For now. But it also comes with a carrier aerial, uh, sorry, airborne early warning and control system. Meaning that this thing has its own little seat platform. Oh, sorry, no, not seat. Um, it has its own platform when it comes to uh, spotting. Which it kind of needs once you're looking at the longer range missiles. Interceptor almost complete. Let's get a few more SAM sites built. Air well, wings replenished. thank you. Uh, SAM sites in general because I don't have any yet. Follow the aircraft carrier group. And we're just going to go on a patrol from there to here and back. We have found an East Asian destroyer. And I'm going to switch this loadout over to anti-ship missiles. Because that should make it far more effective against this warship here. So that's the destroyer that we found and then couldn't find any more. I didn't take a single scrap of damage there. What the hell? Hold on. Are you just... Oh, he's just reaching his patrol point. Right. For some reason, though, I'm not seeing the radar range on these things. There. But I have to zoom in first for some reason. Okay, my largest cities. One of them is Bangkok at 8.32 GDP. Jakarta at 13.92. Uh, Manila, 17.2. But Manila is difficult to defend. Because SAM sites don't really want to sit too well on these islands. I'm going to put one relatively close here, but I don't like the positioning much. And a SAM site over here, pretty close to Bangkok. And then let's also invest in a SAM site and a coastal mobile missile battery for next to Bangkok. So I can pull this destroyer away and start scouting out here a bit more. So another SAM site on this side. What are we killing now? Enemy submarine destroyed. Well done. There is a destroyer out and about. That might be an interesting target for the heavy missile, or the sorry, the heavy battle cruiser. We can keep an eye on it using our little helicopter, and then just hunt it down with the battle cruiser. So hypersonic missiles are next. Take me a while. Get the SAM sites deployed before the game starts to auto-deploy those. Defend against anything hitting Jakarta. 
One thing I've found with the Pacific is that it's harder to defend against ICBMs that turn into MIRVs. Because you would want to intercept those before they become a problem, not after. And that is challenging, because you have these little islands that you can put SAM sites on, but you don't have that many of them. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave you with this particular episode. In the next one, we're going to potentially go to nuclear war, but I don't think so just yet. I want to, after the hypersonic missiles are done, go for satellites so I can see a lot more of what my enemies are up to and potentially have a strike plan ready to deal with any of their strategic assets, insofar as I cannot destroy those with either the battlecruiser or with other assets as I have them, just bombers. So join me next time, and we're going to try and do a little bit more damage against East and West Asia. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, links are all down below in the description, and don't forget to toss a coin to Tarsus through his Patreon program, which is linked down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching, see you soon for the next one.